What's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I'm Clark Kidd. <laughs> Danny. I'm Josh. Welcome to the show, guys. You guys, if this is your first time watching, please do us a favor subscribe, like, leave a comment, share it out. It all helps. But first on the agenda, guys, shots. Let's go. What are we drinking? What are we drinking? What are we drinking? What are we drinking, Danny? Cedar Jerry's. Spice rum. Mm-hmm. Straight up, too. Uh, but yeah. what is what is in your drink? What's you drinking in your drink? Cedar Jerry's and orange juice. Oh. Is that good? Plug, plug, plug. plug what do you think plug, 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 plug. You all right? Uh, yeah. It's okay? It's not my go-to. Okay. Not my go-to. Yeah. But I did use the pregame with Sailor Jerry and Sprite. Mm. I don't think I've ever had that. I have Sailor Jerry usually with Dr. Pepper. It's it it's kind of like a uh, adult Shirley Temple. All right. Kind of gives it that cherry flavor, but you give a little bit of grenadine to it. Ooh, you'd be done. You'd be done. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, so... We have some crazy news to get into, guys. What do you want to get into? What do you want to get into? Uh, well, let me see here. Uh, what do we got going on with the band? What are we doing? We're gonna be doing uh, maybe some music video stuff coming up here. Yes, uh, we should be getting together fairly soon next week. Sweet. Yeah. And uh, working some shit out. Dustin will be here. Nice. Yay! Will we, he? we swear he's in will the band, he? dude. We swear. <laughs> <I'm> we swear. <laughs> you sure about that? We sure, sure about, about that? that? You sure about that? <laughs> Dustin's a busy man. But uh, yeah, he should be here so we can uh, line up some photo shoots and some music videos. Yeah, uh, you know. Are we? Do we let, want to let's, spoil? Let's talk, no, let's talk a little bit about this. Okay. Are we planning? Like, we haven't even really like kind of sat down and talked about this aspect of it. Are we going to our catalog that's released, or are we dropping music videos with new songs? Uh, how would how would you go about this? I don't know. I would. I think that uh, doing a mix of both. A little I mean, bit of both. Yeah, like maybe doing a couple of videos for some newer songs, and maybe doing a couple for some uh, some ones that have already been released. You know, I mean, sure, there's some songs out there that you know people may like uh, over others, and yeah. might be might be a song that works better too with a video. You know. Yeah. I'd say we uh, we'll put together a couple little segments and let the people vote. Ooh, for some so reasons. like we'll say okay which which song would you want us to put our energy into and here's a 10 second clip of this song 10 second clip of that song you Can guys you pick and then whatever one you guys vote on we'll that sounds kind of cool yeah. might, Give might start working on it i mean i mean maybe for like you know maybe one mm -hmm. of the videos maybe we work yeah. it that way you know and then we pick a few that we think are gonna do yeah. you know well or whatever you know yeah, I mean, I still feel like we're in the early enough stages to we we could do it with our old stuff. It doesn't really matter because people are still discovering us, you know. Well, I mean, we're gonna be releasing it as a whole content. album. Yeah, for sure. So I think also we should think about having something to support that as well, you know. Yeah, I feel like that's a good something to release. No, 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 no. The less publicity, the better. <laughs> I think uh, the less people yeah. know about you. Don't do anything like that. Yeah, don't yeah. publicize yourself. That's how you make it big. That's right. <laughs> don't say a fucking word. Like, just, let's rules. just wait and see what happens. Just drop and let it. First just two rules. That's the happens. best way to make a top seller underground movie. <laughs> just don't talk about. <laughs> the don't first talk two about rules. it. <laughs> Which movie are we referring to? We don't talk about it. Oh, okay. But you, Josh, what you looking forward to with all this music video wise? Yeah, or just in general. Like, do you do you have a preference of a song that you would like to see us fucking? That you see in your head, like, I think it'd be cool if we did a video for that one. Still me being considered one, not the new member of the band, but one of the newer members. I don't really have a favorite yet. Mm. And I guess I lean more towards which one does Dustin want to actually do? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're well, you're the leaning guys. on the newer guy. Yeah. What do you oh, want? Oh, saying? Because uh, he's, he's going to be the video guy. don't know. Guy. He, is our, he, is the, he is the video guy. That's what he does. So. What do but you hear me out. Being the new guy coming in, being a fresh set of eyes and ears on the whole thing. Balls and wieners. Balls and wieners on it. 
<laughs> fucking might be a cool thing to see what he, you know, yeah. where he wants to go with it, you know? He's like, hear me out, guys. Socks. That's it. Okay. What do you red hot chili peppers? Like? No, just on your feet. Hmm. <laughs> I charge for that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Rob's only feet, dude. Yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> like, um, only yeah. to. I'm, I'm excited. I'm just excited. It was just, oh. you know, just making conversation about it. I don't think we're going to make any fucking solid decisions right now. You oh, know yeah, what I mean? That's yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm <clears throat> looking forward to it. No, but it's cool to, it's cool to talk about it. You yeah. know what I mean? So I've shot one music video in my life and it was fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean two actually, cause we shot that one kind of gorilla style just to see what we could do. And that was a lot of fun. The one that we the did. one that we did with the, with the cell phone where we just passed it through the. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't get it because you said gorilla style, and I thought we were trying to be gorillas with it, and that's where I fucked up. I'm sorry, <laughs> I, I ruined that whole video. I didn't understand what you meant by gorilla style, so I was like, okay. I think it's a cool concept though to shoot a video like that. I would love to see us like kick it up a notch, you know, and mm. like maybe maybe put it in a in a different setting with like better lighting and you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. really, really do it out. I think you could come up with a pretty cool video just how we did it, you know? Yeah. I want there to be a scene where you can clearly see that Dustin hit record and then ran into the scene. <laughs> like start playing. <laughs> <laughs> Go, really? Like, like I do starting the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Fucking run in. I've done that a couple times. That'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah man. So yeah, that's fucking band stuff we got going on. I'm fucking stoked for that shit. Yeah, it's yeah. I you know, I think uh I think uh, if you if you pay attention enough on social media to us, you'll you you know, you kind of get the idea of what's happening pretty good, you know? Yeah. I think we're always on top of that, you know. Sure. Hell yeah, dude. What? I'm awake. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at you guys. It's like I'm, I'm uh, falling asleep. <laughs> I'm good. I'm just intrigued. I swear to God, I'm awake. <laughs> That's the, when you throw it to Robin, he goes, Sorry, I'm good, I'm good. Fuck okay, man, it's just wait. Yeah. You know, that's just what I feel, man. <laughs> it's good. So it is. Holy shit, man. You know what happens? <clears throat> uh, you know, we, we go a little uh, we go a little big sometimes, you know? For sure. So it happens. You want to talk about this fucking carjacking? Yeah, so uh got a story about a... Uh, Carjacking says here an alarming incident involving an 11 year old in Virginia who shockingly stole a DoorDash driver's car at gunpoint. Uh, what do you think about that? What at what process of the DoorDash was the car? <laughs> Wait, this is what I want to know. I feel like he could have avoided the Wait, gunpoint if he just waited for him to deliver it. Yeah, you know? I mean, <laughs> like let him get out of the car. Yeah, like, let, hey, let me get my food to these people, get my tip and shit, yeah. and then you carjack me. But I want to know at what point in the DoorDash process was this guy jacked? Was it on the way to the establishment with the food? No money. Or, or on the way back. Like, or was it on the way back with cash? Or at the door, like I was gonna say, they don't they don't carry yeah, cash. I don't think they, yeah, I don't really so do that cash. See, a lot of it's more if anything, car. he was just gonna steal the car because I told him he was gonna get out of it. But Listen, it's a I'm fucking tell eleven. You this. Hold on, it's put, an eleven year old at gunpoint. Yeah, but I also put notes in mine like, "Will you stop for cigarettes too?" You what? don't do that. You tell them to stop for cigarettes. Yeah, see if they will stop for cigarettes as well. You don't do that. Wait, when you're carjacking you, somebody? You t- no, when he orders like door door dash. you carjack somebody. <laughs> he orders, so you say he orders his, Give me your cigarettes, too. <laughs> so he he's saying he orders his food. His meal. He orders his food, and then he'll leave in the comments, if like, you can, stop and give me some cigarettes. Like if I order from Jack in the Box, <laughs> which I know is attached to the gas station that you're driving through to get it, you're going to walk in, grab my food at the counter. Hey, while you're there, do you mind going next door and grab me a pack of cigarettes? I'll flip you a 20. Keep the change. There it, you has go. that worked? Yeah. Do people like money? <laughs> I mean, yeah, dude. Twenty bucks is twenty bucks. Like, I heard I'm that. right there. It's, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know. I mean, I know that there's a note section, but I would have never thought. Hey, man, let this dude stop and get me some smokes. Hey, bro, pick me up some condoms on your way down. <laughs> so I was like, what else yeah, are you gonna you add to the list? Do that. There's a lot of things like, blue, hey, quick. can you <laughs> just send a wild list, dude? Well, no, but if you're going to no, 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 like if you're going to do like other stuff, like then you do the the grocery app or whatever it is, yeah, Instacart, Instacart, whatever it be, like 
yeah, do that shit, but put together a weird fucking list. Like, okay, I'm going to need a duct tape. I'm going to need a, a curling iron. A I'm going to need some plastic bags. <laughs> some uh, bleach. And tons of bleach. And a box of Ritz crackers. <laughs> You know what I'm oh, and some hot pockets. Hot pockets. Ooh. I'm gonna get hungry. What's your favorite hot pocket? Um, What's your go-to? For me, it's the breakfast ones. Oh, mine's the pizza one, dude. Pizza hot pocket all day. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Four cheese, pizza, buttery crust. <laughs> the breakfast ones, huh? Yeah, because hear me out. I think that the, the pepperoni they got in that thing. I don't think that's seen the light of day. <laughs> Like, I don't know if I trust that thing. When you put that thing in a microwave, it comes out cooked. You're just like... Are you trusting it with eggs? I, I'd be more worried about the eggs, bro. At least I know the eggs are cooked. You know, because you can cook eggs in, in a, a microwave. microwave. That's yeah. true. Your meat. I think that's going to need a little bit longer than just one minute. Or the last minute time you put your meat in the microwave. <laughs> I knew you were going that way, bro. I was trying not to make eye contact and see, like, is he going to ride that you boat? You think yep. that's how I got my Hulk powers? <laughs> put your meat in the microwave? Don't do it. It's not good. It's not Don't good. put your meat in the microwave. I think it's wild to bring this back around that that kid is 11 years old, dude. Yeah. Where did he get the gun? That's that's what I'm saying. Wait, the jacker was 11? Bro, it's right there. There was also an 18-year-old. Oh, there was an 18-year-old. So, so at least he had adult supervision. The 18 year old did? No. The kid did. But he had adult supervision. So we're good. Right? Yeah. He had adult supervision. So he had adult su- So it was okay to carjack if he had adult supervision? They're like, bro, saying? what are you doing? He's like, it's okay. My big brother was with <laughs> my, my me. My brother's with me. It's fine. He's 18. <laughs> I wasn't alone outside. Arrest him. <laughs> you know, like, I probably told him to go do it because he's a minor and he'll get a lesser charge. That's also true. That's why my cousins took me to a lot of places too, you know? <laughs> Hey, Mark, go get that real quick. All right. Have you been to that part of the country, Virginia? Oh. Where, How's that going? where it took place. It says it took place I've never in been Virginia. to Virginia, no. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's Virginia, going on there? Virginia, like West Virginia, D.C. area. Like, you don't drive. Nothing. You don't drive. You take the fucking subway tunnels. And everything is mostly the subway. Driving is mostly for cabs and Uber or political officials and, like, limousines or whatever it be but most people don't really drive there they just take the subway and just take the metro whoop, whoop. didn't know they had subways in virginia it's crazy oh subways are all throughout the country eat fresh I fucking knew. you eat know fresh. Fresh. Fucking you, dude. <laughs> sponsorship <laughs> oh man <laughs> we can't lob anything up around here dude if i can someone's gonna hit it you know what i mean yeah. someone's gonna look at oh, yeah. it. It's gonna happen, right? Breakfast, gonna... lunch, and dinner <laughs> yeah, all day man. long. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, breakfast hot pockets are gross, and that kid being eleven, it's fucking wild, dude. With an eighteen-year-old. Yeah. So, what? Collectively, fifteen and a half. I don't even wanna... know what you're talking fucking about. Go. Oh, no. Are you split an average the age? <laughs> an average. average, 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 on average is 15, and fifteen and a half. I don't know. Um, There's I'd be pretty 18... pissed if my eleven-year-old fucking stole the car, dude. You know. Take the DoorDash. <laughs> we need the dinner. <laughs> Leave the car. Leave the car. Bring the food. What are you doing? Just jacked him for the food and yeah. left the car. That's wild, man. Can you imagine him waiting in fucking line the whole fucking time? No, this is the number I got. Well, we don't have that one. Well, this is what it says. It says your location. Here's the number. Okay, well, hang on. We'll cook up the food. Fuck, they got to redo it all again. So you're sitting there, you're waiting. Finally, you deliver the food, you give it to the guy, turn around, here's an 11 year old and 18 year old, and <laughs> take your fucking. Yeah, fuck, dude. What? Oh, damn it, they just took my car off, and I just waited in fucking line for these assholes who didn't even tip me on the app. Now I'm stuck in. Virginia. Yeah. Virginia. <laughs> and, and just fucking the properties are just, they're distant. So you're like, like, oh. Take the subway home. Yeah. He subway from there. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. Take the subway. Eat fresh all the way. Yeah, eat fresh. You want to talk about this Florida? Dude, Florida's God, all dude. up in the news, dude. Hey, wait a second. Like it. What if what if uh, they had subways on the subway? Subway on the subway? If they had subways subway on the subway. on the subway car? 
Um, I feel like I mean that's marketing, bro. One, that's, right? Why is, why is that? You know what done? Subway needs to do? Subway needs to go back to how they started with cutting just the V out of the top and baking them fresh right there, not just like that. Fun. <laughs> that's what they used to do. Yeah, Subway, dude. When they first came out, it was big old fucking doughy bread, and they just cut a V out of the top. The year and was nineteen tickety two. <laughs> 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 We were listening to hip hop around these times. <laughs> and you hip hip hopping, you don't stop a rocket to the bang bang. No. Fuck, dude. No, Subway was good at one point. I like they, it. Then they popped up everywhere. And it's just like, we can't keep up. <laughs> so sorry you were saying about Florida. Cool. Sorry, I had, to, I had to do It's this. all good, dude. We'll go back. You can take the metro down to Florida. So there's a. The subways. We took the subway over to Florida. Go on. So it says here it says uh <laughs> I can't see this fucking screen, to be honest. What does it say there? My it's because of my glasses. The Florida one? Yeah. Go Florida for woman's it. gospel chase. A peculiar police chase. <laughs> Thank you. In, in. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> Movie. <laughs> in Florida, where a woman sang gospel songs during the pursuit and later had an unusual accident. I don't know anything about this. Adding another story to Florida's collection of strange incidents. So, so, so she's in a police chase and she's what? What are we doing? Screaming gospel. Hear gospel? me out. I, I feel like Hear every story coming out of Florida now is just going to be trying to be fodder for getting into Grand Theft Auto Six. Yes, yes, yes. Like, I totally know we covered right, right? this, yeah. but this is just like everyone's going to be like. Hold, hold my fucking beer. Like, I'm going to die if there's a fucking police chase in GTA 6 and there's a some woman chick singing, dude. Singing, singing gospel. Singing gospel. Great. She's like, just going to be an NPC. Oh, yeah, Jesus. just driving around the whole map, just <laughs> also, smashing into things. They're pursuing gospel. her. Yeah. Assuming this is like a, is just like a car chase. Police Because if so, she was singing loud, bro, for them to know she Wait, was doing go gospel. Go back things. up to where it said it. I wonder. Oh. Oh. Hang on. During the pursuit. Had an unusual accident. I want to know more what? about yeah. that. What happened? She pooped her pants, guys. Not the tub. She pooped in the tub, not in the tub. Was she good at chess? <laughs> I think I heard about her last week. <laughs> She's a champion. <laughs> <laughs> she like hoth baths. <laughs> if you're being in a, uh, pursued by the police in a car... What song are you fucking blasting? <laughs> What's your fucking pursuit song? Uh, fucking Amazing Grace or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> some kind of Down by the river or some shit? Gospel song? Uh, I don't know. She peed? Oh, she peed herself. We were, we're close. 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 Mm-hmm. She we were peed close. herself. We started in the back. It was the well front. when you when you get when you get the <laughs> whole back and now we're here. You're singing the gospel, you know. Sometimes you get, you know. That's gonna be your you're gonna be singing Amazing Grace. Huh? No, Amazing Grace? dude, I don't know. Like fucking uh I'd pop on like Beastie Boys Sabotage, some that's, shit. That's, like, that's what I want during a police chase. I want that song. Now do you schedule the chase to end by the end of the song? That way it doesn't have to like repeat no, itself. No, I put that shit on repeat. Just we're put on repeat and see if how far. I'm going until the gas runs out, man. I mean, that's what's up. Yeah, exactly. what about you, Josh. What song? You Probably fucking... the theme for curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Rough. See. Uh, if I if I have the stereo cranked up to the point where all the cop cars chasing me can hear it, is that what you're saying? Yeah. I'm blaring the Benny Hill theme song. Fuck the police. Oh, See, they both went the comedic route. I like that. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's really good. Uh, fuck, dude. I was just going to say fucking break stuff. Let me he's like break. fucking, <laughs> he's all in sync. He fucking bye, 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 bitch. Fuck no, bye, like bye, if we bye, were going for, I don't know, if we were going for a cool factor, I'd probably do March of the Pigs by Nine Inch Nails. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not mad at the fucking bye, bye, bye though, dude. That is not a bad that, song to be playing. If they could hear it. Yeah. If they could hear it. If they start singing backups, bro. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Through their fucking. Through their I don't think the real cops pull over. Dude, they you, might be strippers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they're 
There was a great TikTok. If we, I saw. If we have a music video ever where we're being chased by cops, I swear to God, I want Mark to just pull over and just have a scene where he's dancing with the cops <laughs> and the lights are just woo. deal, deal. I'll, I'll do, do it. it. Threaten me with a good time. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Bye, 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 bro. Uh, yeah. So Slipknot. I'm talking a little Slipknot. Oh. Talking about Slipknot again. So uh, I heard that uh, Corey Taylor canceled. Um, Pretty much was, it, it was like a U.S. kind of, you know, his US run of tour. shows yeah. of his own solo stuff, right? Because I believe it was physical and mental health, he basically said. That's what he said. So, uh, yeah, what do you think about that? How do you think that's going to affect the Slipknot Who else is still left in up? Slipknot? Who's still left in Slipknot then at that point? Right. Well, uh, that's a good question. I still don't know what they're gonna do there. Yeah. I would assume they have a drummer in line if they're already like, hey, we're gonna do a fucking festival. I don't know if that's been announced yet. I don't, I don't think, think it has, right? Through. They haven't announced any anything. drummer. No. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you uh, you recently went to see one of his solos. So he had just recently done one, right? And yeah. Got done. So I went and saw them a few months back. I went and saw him, his solo act. Um. It was cool. We killed it. But yeah. like I was telling you guys, it's a possibility that he just canceled the shows because they weren't selling well. Because the, the where I went to see him play at in Riverside, it wasn't even like a quarter full of people. Full of people. Yeah. There was like a, like a tight group of like maybe 350 people at the front of the stage. And then just this massive gap to the seats and like just kind of people scattered around the seats because they're like... Anybody can sit there. They're not assigned seats. Yeah. So this is where my ticket was. I don't know. Maybe maybe it just wasn't profitable. You know. So can I move yeah. closer? Well, I mean, plus if if uh, you know, I think if you're gearing up to do a big tour with Slipknot later on, yeah, and you I can mean, see that it's like, hey, like, hey, this isn't doing very well. Maybe I just spend time with the family now because yeah. I'm not going to see them later. You know. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully he's all right. First of all, if it's for his mental health, you know, uh, <clears throat> people go through shit all the time. Oh, yeah. you know, so, uh, but yeah, no, I, uh, it'll be interesting to see. I'm just interested to see what the lineup for Slipknot's going to be when that comes around, you know? Yeah. What, what are your thoughts, Josh? They still haven't said anything about a drummer. No? Uh, yeah. Rob? Uh, I, don't, I just think that nobody should be expecting anything out of anyone. Yeah, right. Yeah, for sure. You're like, right. I mean... Slipknot, Foo Fighters, any of these artists who are going through these major changes where members are needing time off or passing away or, or moving on or whatever they're, whatever it be, you still got to respect the art and the craft and the time it takes for each individual within that project and vicinity to adapt to the changes of what's to come, you know? Yeah. So it, it, you, I, I feel, I feel for them and the changes, but you just gotta get over it. <laughs> just, no, but, like, get over it. Yeah, no, nah, that jackass. But anyways, <laughs> like you gotta each one, each person's got their own way of dealing with stuff. So you gotta work within the confines of each relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't well, just expect everyone to accept their new realities as easy <clears throat> as it is for some. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And now on a brighter side, bleach actually makes your sheets whiter. I thought you were going to say it takes away skunk smell. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's chlorine. <laughs> That's chlorine. Chlorine. <laughs> chlorine. It's true. Um... Uh, continuing on with festivals, Sick New World lineup. Yeah, what do you think about this? Wait a minute. Do we want to do that or do we want to save that and do a hot take real quick? Let's do, let's you do know what? Take. Let's do a hot take. We can save that for, we'll get back for, that for after that. Break. Yeah, for sure. I didn't say shit, guys. I didn't say fucking <laughs> shit. Okay. Rob. Okay. <laughs> College is the best time in your life. Wouldn't know. Didn't go. Well, no, I, I'm assuming it's talking about your college era being from 20 to 30. Wasn't there for that either. <laughs> Thank you and good night. <laughs> um, if you're talking about just that specific age gap, yeah, dude. One of my best times were between my 20s and 30s. 
best time of my life right now. That's yeah, what I like to hear. Yeah, see, so yeah. <laughs> slide dog, you. You're so slide. Uh, I want to say it was the year I married my best friend. <laughs> no, uh, no fair, guys. <laughs> I didn't think about my answer that well. Is a typical husband over here wasn't thinking. It's what I would have said had wasn't I still been thinking. single, but for me, it was you know now. <laughs> right now. Right now. No, college was a fun time. Yeah, college was fun. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, you, if you were, yeah, the partying you could do in your 20s, like, do the damage. It was like, I knew I was, like, stupid and young, and, like, if I live through this, I fucking live through this, and I got stories to tell. I shouldn't be here right now. Right? The stories it's, you guys have told me, yeah. You, I shouldn't it's, be it's here insane. right now. So I'm not even kidding. Like, a yeah. tw- million times over, I shouldn't I can't be. tell you how many times I've snorted Jaeger. Yeah, snorting. That sounds horrible, dude. Fucking gross. Jaeger's disgusting. But you can win so many bets. Snoring in Jaeger? Snorting. Oh, snorting? You snorted Jaeger? Get the fuck out what of here. You thought it was snoring I Jaeger? Heard, I heard what snoring, snoring in Jaeger. Jaeger. And I was like, what? You're just pouring Jaeger down my nose while I'm fucking sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a drip. <laughs> I was like, that's how, that doesn't sound sick. That sounds like the worst fucking thing you could do to anyone. Burn? Like, did you not just want to, sp- did you spit it out after? You just no. fucking drank it like that? I wanted my fucking bar tab paid for. I guess that's one way to do it. You told him, I'll smart this Jaeger? No. How much? Like a shot? When you show someone a six foot nine dude who's snorting Jaeger off a bar, they're like, I don't want to fuck with him. I got his tab. Fair enough. Because that's one way to do it, right? It works. What about you, Josh? <laughs> Go I've, ahead, Josh. I've won a drinking game with Jaeger before, but I didn't snort it. I just drank the whole bottle. That sounds wild, dude. But it was first to puke, and obviously I didn't puke first. <laughs> <laughs> but snorting it? Mm. That's crazy, dude. I don't think I've ever snorted Jaeger. Uh, let's, mm. let's go one more hot take. We should bring back duels to settle arguments. Yes. Like pistol duels, dude? It wasn't there. Or there choice was of a, weapon? Choice of weapon duel? I saw a video the other day where fucking two guys in like a Congress or fucking the Senate meeting fucking stood up and were just like, what's up, bitch? And fucking, <laughs> what's dude. happening, dude? And what's his name? Bernie Sanders was like, whoa, like, fuck fuck calm the fuck down. You guys are both 85. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. But right? And, and. In the comment section, it was like, shouldn't we just bring back fucking the ability to just go, yeah, fuck you, and fuck you, let's go, you know? Yeah. Should you bring that back? Dueling, dude? Dueling? With pistols? Do you think, yeah, do you think that was a good time for no, us? No, okay. I don't think so, no. I'm not saying that at all. I, I mean, it's fucking funny, you know, right? I mean, like, yeah, the fucking, but, like, no. I think, Pay, I think paintball people- or airsoft, maybe? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I would I love think, to see, like, celebrity duels. I think know? we could, like, we could make, like, a fucking, like, a gauntlet that two people could, like, do and run. And it's like, you're the fucking winner champion and fuck that guy. Like know? American Gladiators. Some shit like that. Yeah, but with, like, yeah. They can, like, you know how they were doing, like, the celebrity, like, boxing fights and shit like that? Like, no, don't take it like that. But, like, make it a fucking, like, a challenge. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like, imagine if we had to put, like, Biden and Trump through a gauntlet of, like, Whoa. tests of intellect and, like, fucking all these things, right? And it was, like, a real challenge. And, like, and then it's you could be like, bitch, election. I fucking beat you in that shit. Fuck you. I won the popular vote. No, you didn't. Oh, that was rigged. Yeah, but I kicked your ass over here in the yeah, phone. talking Spelling about Spelling me, the- dog. What's up? Okay, have you ever seen the movie? Are you talking about the Billy Madison academic decathlon? Yeah. See what shit? I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Yeah, like like it's a it's a gauntlet of all of it, you know? Yeah. I mean you fucking you do the fucking the joust from fucking American gladiators and shit. You do the fucking rope climb and you run the fucking America ninja warrior deal. And have you seen the scene that he's talking about from Billy Madison? Yeah. 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 I, feel, I feel like Trump would be the one to get up and Talk about the fucking blue duck. <laughs> like the whole time. <laughs> it's a possibility. But it was the bluest duck you've ever seen. <laughs> blue. And with that, it was blue. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Blue. <laughs> we'll be right back.
What's up, guys? Danny and Mark from The Last Days of War. What's going on? Just wanted to remind you guys that you guys can follow us on all our social media pages. It's the, got the TikTok and the Instagram and the uh, Facebook and threads. Yeah. Those are all The Last Days of War. And X is The Last Days of War because the is too long. Uh, check out our merch. That's a great way to support the band. It is in our bios on all of our social media pages. Anything else, Danny? Have a good one. Back to the show. Back. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's happening? What's happening, dude? Have a break. Good, dude. Good break. Enjoyed myself. What about you, Rob? What's your agenda? Shots. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what are you shooting? What are you shooting? Say Jerry, Jerry Sailors. The series Jerry. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Sailor Jerry. There it yeah. is. So. We kind of started talking about it before, but we decided to wait till now. Alpha Sick Jaconians. New World. Alpha Jaconians, bro? <laughs> Sorry. The Alpha Jaconians are opening Sick New World. Are they really? <laughs> well, they might be. Who well, knows? I thought this took place in Vegas. I thought the Alpha Jaconians were in Florida. They are. Okay. Sick New World Festival, guys. There's a <laughs> lineup, including System of a Down, Deftones, Corn, and others. I can't wait to see, see others, well, Okay. Well, Doesn't that sound good. weird? Growing up in the era we grew up in. Hearing that System of a Down is headlining over Deftones and Corn. Makes that makes sense to me. What kind of sick new world are we living in? <laughs> Who would you have headline out of those three? Don't say Deftones. Corn? Okay. <laughs> so you say you would think it for that. Oh, like think who helped start the genre and who's got probably more albums out and who's had the most longevity. Who's still a band? Yeah, or what's left of them, you know? Yeah. Well, is, I mean, isn't there something, though, behind kind of System of Down coming back and actually, like, doing shows, isn't it? Yeah, but they isn't did that it, kind of a big seller, though? They did it last year, too. Yeah. So it's kind of like, but here you have, like, the guys that paved the way, but you're going to have... Now, is it known that System of System of a Down is the headliner? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. It's their festival. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, if it was their festival, <laughs> you know. But, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's cool that this is one of the first few times that Korn and Deftones are playing together again. Yeah. yeah. Um, because they haven't really done a whole lot of shows in, what, the past 20, 30 yeah. years that we've been fans. Is there more than one night? Because if so, I could see Korn headlining one night. Uh, no, I think this is one shot. Yeah, because last year it was two nights. Was it? I believe it started as one and then it, it branched into two, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Could be wrong, though. Maybe I'm thinking of a different festival. What happened? The sand the sand oh, the sandstorm happened. Do, 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 the hell was that noise? <laughs> sandstorm. Sandstorm. <laughs> <laughs> sandstorm. Yeah, no, I, I guess I see where you're coming from, Rob. Um... I guess in that sense, yeah, it would make sense for Corn to headline that. I don't know. That's just, I don't know. It would be weird. It's just oh. to me. Yeah. It's kind of because kind of System of Down, Down followed up Corn, you're saying, and that's why you think Corn's kind of like. It's like, come see Led Zeppelin, Aerosmith, and uh, who's that? Um, Greta Von Fleet. <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So knowing uh, the the three main names there, who else would you like to see on this tour? Aside from those three? Yeah. Who do you know. think fits that lineup like that? They had a solid lineup last year. Don't get me wrong. And I think those are good headliners. Um, My cousin played last year's. He liked He, he had a lot of fun. Oh, you want to name drop? Yeah. Uh, Stabbing Westward. He drums for Stabbing Westward. I met your cousin's name, but yeah, that's Bobby cool Amaro. too. Bobby Amaro. <laughs> yep. Plug, plug, plug. Plug, plug, plug. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't get me wrong. I think they're great lineups. I just wish it was more than one day and you gave it to people who were at actual concerts back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even stand a chance because motionless and white's playing, you know, like, oh, fuck. Like, I just... Here's all your childhood high school bands that you love to hear, but all the fucking kids wanted to go see it because of 
And you're like, huh. Give it, well, an, age, give it an age limit, dude. I'd, I'd be down with that. Age, what, what would be the age limit? To ensure that real generation, real fans real fans of their of that generation make that concert and not, I don't know they're more about making the money so they just want to pack every head that they can get into that venue and they don't care about sun protection they don't care about hydration you know it's just like they don't care about the humanity they care more about the almighty dollar that these bands are going to bring in like hey I could sign this band to this venue to this concert for this night for Two million dollars, but we're gonna in turn make ten. You know, it's like it's fucking gross. I but, wonder if uh, Spirit Box is gonna play this because they're touring with Corn. Well, they played last year. Okay. Uh, did they uh-huh. Spirit Box? Yeah. I don't. I haven't been to many festivals. I think I. I went to fucking like the second to the last Warp tour that happened over here. And I don't know, just something about the festival vibe. I just it's probably fun as an artist, but being there. As a fan, it just wasn't the, it, it wasn't my vibe. You know what would be cool is if they actually took these festivals on the road and traveled <laughs> from city to city. So multiple cities get to see these multiple acts. It would be crazy is if they like made it affordable so people can actually see all these great acts and get to experience great music for what they're actually putting out. Like, it's, it's a warped idea. Hear me out. But <laughs> it's pretty warped. But I think, like, it would actually work as if you toured with it, but made them affordable. So it's just this one date for this festival? That, that it's not a uh, for, No, this is just a one take one in Vegas. Yeah. Come on in, flood the traffic. And like a Coachella or whatever? Basically, yeah. yeah. Like, bring attention to Vegas. But they also do the When We Were Young festivals. That's yeah. the one I was thinking of. It started with one night and then it turned into two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now they're doing a second one already setting up for that. Do you know where in Vegas? What what venue is that? Uh, I believe they shut down areas of Fremont Street. Really? For the sick new world? Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. I think it's around that area. Okay. Hmm. I just hope the power good. works. But the power works. Yeah, they had shitty power yeah. apparently at the last one. Seven Dust got cut off like three songs in. Oh, that's right. I think I remember you told me that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Have you been at a show where power just dropped? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ever yeah. played at a place called oh. Goodfellas? We, <laughs> no, we went to uh, Have you played Tux. a show? Yeah. <laughs> Fire Tux, yeah. That happened. I want to say it was that like an Ozfest or something like that. And uh, I think Avenged Sevenfold was on and it just done and then it came back on and went off again and came back on wasn't there some bullshit around it was that? like either that or... had that issue with that was with iron maiden and sharon oh okay. yeah but that was intentional yeah. just turning off the electricity yeah, well, it was, was throwing because of, at him and of shit. bruce was talking shit on ozzy because it was during the popularity of the osborne show oh, okay and he was making comments on stage about, oh, I don't know what he's here for, but I'm here to be a real rock star, not a TV sitcom hero type shit. Like, he was basically just spitting on him. Yeah. And she took offense to it, like, how dare you say shit? It's our fucking tour. So in the middle of their performances, she would just cut off his mic mm-hmm. and would do it on and off, like, throughout their whole fucking set. Then the fans started throwing shit at them because they thought it was their sound, not knowing that she was doing it on purpose. <laughs> So then it turned into, well, we're not even going to fucking play anymore. But yeah, there was a beef because of the whole comments of, well, you don't belong on a fucking TV show. You belong on the stage and you suck at at Mm. doing it anyway. I saw a thing the other day where Sharon Osbourne... She wants to bring back Oz. She was talking about bringing back Oz. She's open to the idea if the bands are willing to also be open to the cost. Like... (sighs) Go back to the way Ozfest was, where it you're not gonna make a shitload of money. You'll get paid, but you're not gonna make a living off of it. Just so they can start touring again because of the whole venues are taking cuts. Yeah, so they're mm-hmm. trying to cut that out. Yeah, I think what she was saying things. was just kind of uh, the way I took it. She, I think she was just saying that like if if everybody would be realistic, it could probably happen. You know, so that's the way I took it. I mean, I don't know to what extent she means there, but. I don't know how far that'll go, but that would be pretty cool to see that, you know. Ozzy's retired now, right? He stopped performing? He can't because of medical stuff. Yeah, I like think he I remember keeps him. He's trying to set up shows and has to. He can't fly anymore, so that's why he's back over in England. But it's the whole, if 
if he would try to perform, he could do one show and mm-hmm. then would have to take like a week off because they thought of doing residencies. So the he, travel on his body, he can't take. He just can't do it. Uh, mm. I mean, that makes sense. Dude's old as shit, dude. Oh. <laughs> he <is>. oh. <laughs> I remember when I watching the Osbournes back in the day. I thought that dude was old as hell. Yeah. <laughs> he's still he's still kicking, man. Still going. Yeah. It would be kind of cool to see him do like a residency or something like that. Maybe it wasn't like an every night thing, but you know, like you said, maybe weekly. It's the know? money. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. But it would be cool to see Ozfest come back and do some stuff. You know, I'd be there. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. That'd be Many of stories. Yeah, I went to one night of an Ozfest, not fest. It was like. Oh, you, you probably went to the Ozfest, Not Fest here. Oh, night. is that what that was? <laughs> yeah, there was an Ozfest, Not Fest. Like, yeah. One night, two night. Yeah, it was like, like a, we saw Deftones and uh, Ozzy he- headlined that night. Slipknot didn't play the, the festival at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and Ozzy, so we saw Deftones and Prophets of Rage. They were pretty dope. Oh, I was at that show. Yeah, I think we've talked about this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were at that yeah, show. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Uh, Prophets of Rage was kind of really cool because they not only did Rage stuff, but they did some Cypress Hill yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was so they dope. they mixed yeah. it up. You know, um, they did some Public Enemy stuff and all that. So it was it was a cool show. Yeah, I remember like they were like, "Oh, Prophets of Rage are next," and I didn't realize who they were. I didn't realize it was like a super group. You know? Yeah. And uh, somebody was like, "Oh yeah, dude," and, you know, and I'm like. Okay, now I'm super interested. Yeah, well, what is it? Is it like Chuck there. D, uh, Be Real, and, uh, of course, Rage, Tom. right? Mm-hmm. Tom Morello. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's fucking dope. Yeah, it was, a, yeah. it was a fun show. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. We were there. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, remember, I remember Deftones playing pretty good at that one, too. I remember it was fun. Uh, uh, he, was, he did too much of that high pitch scream for yeah. me. I was like, bro. And then we saw like three songs of Ozzy and my wife was like, it's fucking cold. Can we go home? She's like, I'm like, all right, let's go. I was yeah. like, we see three songs from Ozzy. You've seen his set, right? You know, <laughs> so like. Right. Yeah. No offense to Ozzy fans. And he's fine. You know, <laughs> you want to keep this about music and do the music review really quick? Sure, let's do it. Yeah. Go ahead, Danny. You can start this one. Uh, so there's a release that happened. Uh, the band's name's Gore. Song's name's Prey. Uh, did you guys check it out? I did. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to go first? Go for it. What'd you think? I loved it. Yeah. I, that was probably my favorite one out of the ones that you told me to check out. It was definitely up on the list for me. Um, I liked. I was kind of saying earlier. Uh, to me, the sound it reminds me of like had Flyleaf stuck around and gotten you know and progressed and evolved or whatever. Like I feel like that's where they would kind of sound like today, right. probably. That's the vibe the vocals gave me was like flyleaf vocals. Um, but I, I loved it. I thought it was great. I want to hear more from them. It's like their only song, right? I, I, you know, I've got to go look because it was one of those bands where I first heard it. I was like, I want to hear more of this band. And I haven't like sat down and, and opened that up yet. But yeah. I definitely want to hear more from the band as well. They were, what I, that one song was great. Yeah. yeah. It was, like I said, it was when I heard it, I was instantly like, ooh, I want to hear more. Yeah. You know? But it's already got over a hundred thousand follows or listens. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Just drop it. That's great for them, man. Oh yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Well you Josh? You I liked it. Yeah. There's two singers, right? Uh you know, I'm gonna have to look more into these guys, but uh Either that or that chick has some range. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. yeah. But the sound quality was good. The drums were cool. I liked it. Yeah. Kinda reminds me of Alpha Wolf. Alpha Wolf? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, maybe a little bit of in this moment esque yeah. with yeah. the plugging of more her because what I've seen on their social media posts is them plugging her working for NASA as being like, well, hey, does your lead singer work for NASA? Put a finger down. And it was like, no. Uh, <laughs> like, yep, we do. Uh, do you guys sing metal? Uh, fuck. Yeah, we do. It was like, okay, do you drop new releases? And it was like she ended up putting down all of her fingers. It's like, that's why we're fucking badass. And I was like, <laughs> hands down, good job. Amazing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it was a good song. I, I'm looking forward to hearing more from these guys. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gore, guys, check them out. The song is Prey. Uh, <clears throat> did you guys check out uh, Ghost Kid? 
F F S U. Yes. What'd you think of that one? I like this one too. Um, not as much as I liked the the gore one, but it was I liked it. It's it's something that I would listen to. Okay. You know, like if it came on, I'd, I'd leave it on. Yeah. Fuck yeah. You know. Uh, what about you? Me, like I was telling Rob, we were listening to it, and uh, I just I felt like it just it was a song that was just gonna keep you going. You know, just keep kind of keep it rolling. You know, I like it. Uh, I was talking to Rob about this, and he hadn't heard Ghost Kids' like first album. And uh, if you like that, you should check it out because I feel like uh, there's some songs on the first album that I feel like um, are bigger winner for me than this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Still in that direction, but better in your eyes. Yeah. 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 They have some other stuff that's pretty. I mm. like more, but. This was good, you know? I like the drums. Yeah. I like the drum tone on it. Yeah. Bro. Mm. Uh, I dug it. I, I thought it sounded like a band we would be caught on tour with. Yeah. Definitely have like a similar like, all right, you got that twist, but we put this twist and, you know, I think it would be like a good complimenting. I like the, uh, I was telling you about this. I like the chord progressions they choose. Mm. It's uh, it's just the, the really dark their chord progressions they choose. So, um, anytime I hear a song of theirs, I'm always like, yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's nice darker, they... darker the better. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> so, <laughs> what are we, what are we doing here? Oh, are we talking about that? <laughs> here it is. <laughs> okay, so this this story is very interesting. Uh, so you you read the article, right? Yeah, I read the article. So you got some information on this one because I feel yeah. like there's some explaining to do. Alrighty. So wait, 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 wait. Go up. Is that what we were talking about? Yeah. yeah. Scroll up. The uh, scroll up that part. that one. I want to hear about this one since you read about it. You want to dive yeah. into the? <laughs> okay, so. Take us on um, this little tale. Apparently after Christmas, there was some, uh, <laughs> apparently during Christmas, there was some data being collected. And uh, I'll just read you this article because it's pretty funny the way they laid it out. It says, uh, it may be the season of loving and giving, but doctors have warned against embracing this spirit too enthusiastically. At least where sexual relationships are concerned, uh, sexual relations are concerned. It says, they've discovered that the Christmas period is associated with a significant increase Risk of penile fractures, bro. Hmm. Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> What's going on, right? Like, what is it? <laughs> so apparently during Christmas, you can protect your dick. Uh, but yeah, it's funny because it says, uh, where am I at here? It says the injury tends to occur during wild sex, particularly in positions where you're not in direct eye contact with your partner, such as the reverse cowgirl. <laughs> so... Careful, guys. Getting wild, huh? Be careful. Uh, I think it's known as a reverse reindeer during Christmas season. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so is that that's the move that's doing it? It's mm -hmm. the reverse reindeer? Or it's called the Mrs. Claus. <laughs> I like that. Um, I just want to, like, why was this data being collected? You know, it's always crazy to hear about these fucking studies. Slutties? Studies. Oh, studies. <laughs> Slutty studies. Slutty studies. Slutty studies, dude. Breaking wieners left and right. <laughs> I uh, wonder if, if there's a, a woman out there that has a higher body count of breaking wieners fractured here? penises than others. She was wrecking wieners left and right. She's <laughs> crushing people. You know? Obviously. Like, don't get me wrong. I've heard about it happening. Like, I've had buddies that have, uh, oh, yeah. And you're just like, that's, that's a thing. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Painful. Yeah. You broke your wiener? No. No? I, it's not you broken. break your wiener, Josh? No. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> I don't, yeah. Uh, I broke my wiener snitchel diet. <laughs> uh, okay. What? What is a wiener schnitzel diet? Uh, it's where Just you try to wiener eat wiener schnitzel. Wiener schnitzel? Wiener schnitzel? Yeah. Where you try to eat wiener schnitzel every day. So you've been, how many, how, days, long, did how many days did you go? I think two, and that was it. <laughs> for every meal of the you day? You were very No, 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 just for one meal a day. I was just Even like, that oh. was too much? Oh, yeah. Was this year your New Year's resolution to eat wiener No, it wasn't even this year. Okay. It was just like, oh, I'm going to try this. And so, so you never tried picking it back up after two days? Bro. Did you get the squirts? Uh, it wasn't. 
it wasn't quickly. It was in, it, it was instantly. It was like <laughs> he's like this was a terrible idea. I should have eaten a road dog. <laughs> that was a bad idea. I instantly regretted this. <laughs> Uh, stoplights turned into stop signs. You know what I'm saying? Just, Whoa, no. I gotta go first. I've, I've been there, dude. Oh, it's just yeah. too many days of Wiener Snitchel. I think you'll uh, you'll agree. It's like eating Arby's here, once. Folks, the limit is two days. That's it. That's one it. one trip to Arby's we is the not, same as two trips to Wiener Snitchel. We do not recommend more than two days. Uh, I don't think I. I remember the last time I eat like at a place back to back two days consecutively because my wife doesn't like to eat the same thing two days in a row. Okay. So what, really? She's, yeah, dude. Yeah, she's not really big on like, oh, it's leftovers night. So she's not like, doing the Wiener <laughs> Stencil Challenge. She's not doing the Wiener Stencil Challenge, bro. You, you know? know what you can do? Jack in the crack. I can. Jack in the box because you can get breakfast. You can get a burger. What's the number 12? Number 12 is the chicken sandwich. Oh, shit. Number three? Number three, uh, I want to say, is the uh, ultimate cheeseburger. Give him a number. Holy shit. Number seven? Number seven. Uh, <laughs> that goes into the chicken category as well. It's, <laughs> I don't know. Break it down in his head. Check this out. Let me know. He's got like the mathematical equation. There's Breakfast the starts in the 20s. Um, there's a couple of numbers that are missing, like because it goes like the it goes the chicken pita, chicken fajita pita at 15, 16 is the chicken teriyaki bowl, and then it goes somehow to 22, 22 for like the croissant sausage croissant sandwich. And All the twenties like, are breakfast stuff. But then you're like, wait, 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 wait what's What's the 17, 18, 19, 20, 21? So as, 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 what's your relationship with Jack in the Box? You like okay, so there? it's a gas there? station. No, no, no. Hear me out. Like It's like one of the only spots that are open on my way home from work. I feel that. So it's like my way out. I can get a coffee at the gas station. You got to have like a photographic memory on fucking Jack in the Box menu or something. Well, it's just like, okay, the usual. Yes, please. That's what I was going to say. You just pull up and they hear your voice and they're like, we got you. Pull yeah. up. And the cool part is, is like every time I'm like, okay, thank you. And there's one lady, she goes, my pleasure. And that's, it just warms my heart just every time she says, oh, you know, oh, uh, if, if I could tip you on my app, I will tip you more. Like, oh, that was adorable. <laughs> just for just for the way you say my pleasure. It was just, oh. You do love Jack in the Box though, dude. Well, hear me out. It's just, it's it's like they have a variety of everything. You want chicken? They got a good chicken sandwich, which is comparable, I think, to Popeye's chicken sandwich when that whole craze went on. It's up there. Now, it's not like the Carl's Jr. chicken sandwich where it's like a spicy chicken booty that's been deep fried for like five days, and here you go. You know what I'm saying? It's a good chicken, but no. Uh, but they have like the teriyaki bowls. You can eat healthy at most fast food restaurants, but most people don't want to because that's not why we're going there. True. So. Very true. That's why I get one of everything. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And then you just put it all in your burger and you fucking eat it and that's your best burger. Isn't that like the Snoop Munchie meal? Yeah, well, that's pretty, pretty much, much getting right? high, yeah. Just- yeah. Throw everything they got at it. Now, so here's the thing. Now they they changed it up, so they took away like these stoner ideas and just threw in regular menu items into their munchy meal category. Like, okay, here you can order this. It's like chicken strips with buffalo sauce, and you're like, well, I could fucking already do that. <laughs> like, here's here's a double jack, and you're like, ah, oh, that's that's that. fucking great. That's what you already have. So, but like me now, I'm starting to go through is like, what's the most expensive menu item that you still get for the $8 box? Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? That's where you get your money's worth is like, come here during this time. I'm like, give me that fucking box. I want that $13 burger. Three bucks. See what I'm saying? Do they still do the burger with like the onion ring, the curly fries in it and shit? Like oh, have, well, okay, so now what it is is you get to pick three. You get to pick three sides. You get regular fries, curly fries. 
I feel like such an asshole. <laughs> Jack in the Box, fucking pay me for a commercial. Here, here's what you get. You get either regular fries, curly fries, halvesies. Uh, you can get uh, two tacos. And a rub and tug. Or onion rings. So it's french fries, halvesies, onion rings, curly fries, or two tacos. And you get three sides. So fuck that. Just get six tacos. <laughs> That's what's up, dude. Uh, then you throw those fucking bad boys into your fucking burger, and you are the ultimate stoner burger right there. Six tacos and a burger? Well, in the burger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys, wait, wait, what now? Yeah. Let me How many tacos? Six are? tacos in a burger. Holy shit. Well, you could do two tacos. And then you have two tacos off to the side. So you put two tacos in your burger, and then you have Wait, two tacos in your burger, dude. Are they the mini tacos or the full size? Full size. He's making. Bro, you he, should you well, should contact him and be like, fucking. I can see why he hates soup, dude. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it needs to be it solid. It, it needs to be sense. solid. Tacos yeah, no. Burgers. Huh? Yeah, no. You mix and match, like, like I don't like cereal right with milk because you're just like oh i'm sitting here with a whole full bowl full of milk but if that milk was ice cream 100 percent, and by the time you eat your ice cream it normally ends up what fucking milk so here's what i do instead of milk just put fucking ice cream vanilla ice cream into a bowl and you pour your cereal all around it you're having ice cream for breakfast bro Bro, it ends up the same way. Oh, you I end up diabetic. <coughs> you, you end up with... I'll die. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck, dude. Damn. Kill me. Holy shit. It dude. ends up as a soupy mess at the end, bottom of your bowl anyways, right? <laughs> and you end up shitting yourself by second period. Don't tell this to my kids. Second period. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, Well, this is great. Sounds like this happened to you. It sounds like you wake up. <laughs> This, this is sounds what, more like a story. Yeah, this is what happens when you wake years. up at Tell us what Jack in the box six in the morning. You eat your ice cream cereal by like seven. By the time you go to school at eight, after second period, you're shitting your brains out. I guarantee it. It's a, it's a good colon cleanse. Now it depends on the cereal that you fucking eat. And like if you're eating all the sugary shit, it might take you a little longer. Hit you after fourth period when you need to buy your lunch. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> you feel that pain, right? Where you're just like, do I go home and shit or do I buy food? Oh, damn it. Uh, I really got to poop. That was I'll the eat worst after. When you had to shit at school, dude. No, it fucking, wasn't. I oh. fucking hold that shit, dude. Be like, I'm getting all sweaty. You're just a kid. You're just a kid in the back trying not to rip farts. <gasps> oh, my God, it hurts. Oh, God. <laughs> this. I just want to go home. You try to mask it with a flush, but it's never in time. You try to cough. It's never in time. Try to cough. <coughs> 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 Damn it. <laughs> All right. Before the show ends, oh in Mississippi, there was this graveyard discovered behind a prison. Correct? Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that the one we're talking about? Yeah. Yes. This story's wild, dude. Yeah, where they find 200 and some odd bodies yeah. behind a prison in Mississippi. And the wild thing is, is that... What's the missing person rate in Mississippi right now? <laughs> right? I don't know, like, but... I can't find my daughter. Oh, they, we don't even know they where dug to look up for one her. person, and I guess it... I don't know. I guess it it come out that, like, I guess possibly, allegedly, I don't know where it's at, but uh, a kid was struck by a police officer... Uh, so they buried the kid there. Was he dead? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank God. And it's supposed to I be, mean, I believe so, that they put horrible. it off like it was like a John Doe. Yeah. You know, but they found the kid, the person had the ID, his ID in his front pocket. Was in his front pocket. Yeah. yeah so how is that? Uh, it sounds crazy. like there was a lot of sketchy stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, from what I re- heard from this story. <laughs> I just found a bunch of bodies outside of a prison. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's not sketchy. I guess the... Uh, this is like some Jeffrey Epstein the shit. The people that run the prison now are claiming that it didn't happen like when they were there. <laughs> I heard a fucking comment from the police chief or whatever or the war, whoever it is now, that it what he wasn't in, but he said that he's going to make sure this never happens again. And you're like, 
uh, what, fucking what, what, prosecutions and shit, like investigation. Like, what do you mean? It's just never going to happen he's again. He's like, like, get over it. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say, I think some crimes might have been committed here, guys. I don't know. But. It's a giant doormat over. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, don't worry, don't worry about that. We'll never Whoa. do it again. Yeah. That, that's kind of what it was like. It was like, wait a second, bro. Like, you, okay, cool. Well, I'll just walk, walk away and leave our loved ones buried out there. That's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. Um, that they would change their name to John Doe. Right? That's Why would you do that? That's yeah. crazy. If you could change your name, what would it be? Uh, I think I would change my name to like, subscribe, and follow. That's right, guys. Like, subscribe, follow. This has been the last days of Warcast. Thank you so much for listening. Like he just said, like, subscribe, follow, hit the links, buy some stuff. We love you. We're out. Peace. See you next week. Bye.